Welcome back. One good coup de grace, and that's gonna change the fight. There's a lot of RNG on Geek Fam, actually, not just the P. You got the Ogre as well, right? Lucky Trying to get the multicast in. Yeah. yeah, lucky shot. It's all RNG. It's Maybe Geek Fam think it's their lucky day. All right, that's Rubik. the Rubik against Magnus, against Sand King. And you know what? Huge Zephyr ultimate. is Rubik got his health before you were Geek Fam. Okay. I'm feeling the Ricky, man. It's a good pick. I like it a lot. Ricky Magnus. No, you know, sometimes that small little extra mana could be costly. You might not have uh, enough mana for a blink with the combo. It's true. At a time when you thought you would have been safe to be able to make the jump away happen down bottom. Gotta keep our eyes on this lane. TML being brought low. Cuckoo gets the last touch in Natsumi. Pain. Down bottom, they've been applying a ton of pressure on the Natsumi. Just making it really hard for him to farm. Um, but they're gonna jump now onto Zephyr with the TP coming in from the Nature's Prophet. This position for Boomy is gonna be able to make the rotation. Was a bad early game compared to usual. But I think he still needs to move with the Corp. They have to work together. The Magnus is actually getting way too much out of the jungle. Let's hang it. You get the slowdown. Cuckoo went in onto Boomy. This is a big commitment here. And well, guess what? They got level six available. They get the pulse promise. That's going to keep them alive. And then the RP pulls it back onto two. The burrows afterwards. That was not the move they wanted. So first things, you know, they're trying to move. Nothing is happening. And that move there in front of the tower signifies that they're actually very, very stressed. Because they went for a dive on the Nature's Prophet, which has an Oracle behind him. Even though they were able to control the Oracle, but they were so deep behind the tail one. And the Sanking and RP just came mm. And another pickoff here as well. Hitmon's gonna go down. Bach able to kill him. Oracle trying to heal himself up, but Raven will not be denied. It's a bloodlusted PA turning now onto Bach, but the Burrow Strike onto two. Carl picks up the kill. Cuckoo skewered to break the ulti and then able to get out afterwards with or whatever your team needs uh, to facilitate the match later. Man, Geek Fam here trying to smoke up and find that Sumi. They're instead gonna run into Boomy. Does get hit. Burrow strike on Burrow strike action. Can they bring him down? Bach is down low with the sneak. Oh my god, the damage for time from Sun. That's for me. Kaoku in some trouble. Are they gonna be able to get it off the time though? He's trying to turn, trying to kill. They will bring down the Sand King for the Pango Zephyr. And brought down very low, but hiding in the sandstorm. It's gonna keep him alive for the moment. Spade's getting all kinds of crazy as Boomy's getting jumped on by Raven. Wait, will eventually be back. killed off. That's a dieback. Unreal. That, uh, that's pretty much what, what Carl has to do. If she if she gets RP'd at the start of the fight, the fight's probably over. Just to wait and come in the middle of the engage. You don't want to show yourself the beginning of the fight. Oh, she's showing herself now. But... Oh no, and jumped and caught and killed Kuhn, trying to turn the tide of the fight, but the pullback in from the Magnus. I need the RP that time, just the skewer. I think she would be she would be able to carry the game from there. But instead, they're gonna smoke out against. Uh... Oh god! And right as that's happening, they find the quap. Atos down dead. That was the smoke they were supposed to jump into. But now they do have RP down. But Mac is gonna be chased, and I mean he's still fairly tanky here. No more skewer. Bach jumps back around. Burrow yeah, strike uh, lands. Blood nice. stolen. Burrow strike. You gotta sit in storm, my dude. I don't know if it's going to matter, though, as they do manage to get the False Promise off. That keeps Mac alive. He's going to score and start to punch down Cuckoo. So a droid able to salvage this fight and Mac barely living there at the very end of it. Unreal. They started off with the RP on the Quap. Lightmon now going to be chased down as well afterwards. They got the Atos in a couple seconds, but they don't even need it. Just ending another life. And I think that going into the game is a very, very good uh, scenario for them. Oh, oh my god, they got Coral again! Oh my god. Two, five, and three. And right now, Adroit completely in the lead. It is going to be Roche re uh, being reclaimed in about 40 seconds. I'll blame. If Coco, uh, if Carl blitz out, oh no, I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> oh my god, how many times? How many times? Carl, just gave BKB somewhere else, man. Please. Let's go elsewhere. Oh no, and back on the other side. Mac gonna find him. Okay. They oh, have some nice. skewer. The chase down. He's got some stats resistance, but it doesn't look like enough to pile onto Cuckoo. And now trying to jump away. Zephyr hiding in the pit does manage. 
to get the TP out, but they got their eyes set on the man. It's a lot of damage. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. It's a lot of, close to 25%. Yeah, 25%. It's a pretty good uh, scaling talent. Hmm. Raven? Hard, hard, hard to compare them. Find themselves a boomy. And he is going to go down. No way to get the rest of the team there in time. So. I guess this, this gives him a lot of uh, offensive and defensive capabilities. And same thing, and Ricky. Hello! Quick thing. They are need to move over here. And Carl doesn't stand a chance. This guy just got a play mail. They just the polished him. The blink, his blink is actually as uh, the same range as the quad blink. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and he's got two of them. How is that balanced? White Mon goes down after. They're going to try and jump in up here. Zephyr is just gone. Raven is getting melted. Look at the damage from the Ricky. He jumps inside the tricks of the trade. The chase down can come again if they want to chase down on the Raven. X comes out because that's a thing that Boomy has at 30 minutes. The chase full, the kill on the Raven. Natsumi is still living here on this Ricky. The false promise comes out. Cuckoo not doing nearly enough damage. He is also going to be tipped. He is potentially going to get away, but I think that there's a limit where the quarter core match doesn't matter anymore. And this is it. GG is called. They owned them. They, they owned Carl. Yeah, man. Into Ember Spirit, they can run in your face. Clock, clock, tiny bling dagger. Yeah. I'm not sure because I'm looking at Geek Fam. They've got four heroes right now that can fight quite early, but we're going to go for Beastmaster. Instead. This might be our last game of this series, but it's all up to Geek Fam. Mm -hmm. I mean, none of these lanes right now are going well for Adroit. They're kind of just losing all three. And CML is likely just at all. We just look at the power range. CML now walking away from Cuckoo. They will be able to bring one. So Cuckoo drawing that first blow by Natsumi. Can he chase down this Beastmaster? Oh, it's his way through the trees, trying to chase him bit further. What? Oh my God, they got the solo kill on the Ember again. Carl went down mid. Natsumi might end up paying for this transgression though. So they will be able to kill Natsumi. Cuckoo, chase. Oh my God, CML's gonna die too. CML, no, he runs away from him. Use him, get them done. Boomy, toss him onto him. Raven gets hit by the open wounds, trying to move in with Boomy. Avalanche is gonna connect, throwing everything they can. Cuckoo has the roar though. Mac now shows up. Light of Fist is available. They're not designed to use the roar, instead throw out the sun. They've lost Boomy already. CML get the bonus damage, bringing in the clockwork afterwards. He's still got hookshot available. Atsumi jumps inside of CML to keep him alive, trying to pull him in closer, and the big infest to keep him out. Now the chase down Mac, everybody's down super low and Cuckoo also going to end up going down. Do they manage to get the kill? The roar is there, but the illusions are chasing and they will find him. In the end, three for one. It have been like sort of javelins into MKBs, but MKB first time on Life Story sounds terrible. Yep. <laughs> no bueno. <laughs> <laughs> no bueno. That's right. Well, Cuckoo going to get caught here. Oh, the call down. Raven showing up, doing a good bit of damage. Cuckoo trying to get out of there, and he is going to be able to make his way out. Bach now trying to TP out of there as well. He's going to complete his TP. Boomy throws Raymon away from himself. Oh, and then Matt comes in and cleans the Cuckoo. Now the turn, they get the glimpse back, Zephyr and White Mon, but Mac is showing up and has chased him down. And Life Stealer is inside of a creep running after him as well. It's got so much movement speed, they might actually be able to find Zephyr afterwards. The fest pops out, they got him in the root, and now the beatdown is going to commence as they will essentially find him. Oh, and that was really well done. Well, it feels like they kind of know about the smoke the way that they're playing. Uh, CML is going to be there to break the smoke about all of the Mac shows up now. That's a pretty good vision of everybody, but Bach is going to be there in just a moment as well. They've already used the Disruptor ulti, bringing them down low and fighting on the life store as well. Bach couldn't get there in time, and they just blew up three. So you don't have the fest, though. They had to use it to make sure the life store did not die earlier. Okay, it's not that important on the spell. Fair enough. They find Carl, able to catch him. Cuckoo. The avalanche taunts. Nice. 
play. They managed to find the roar afterwards on the Mac. KB used not doing anything in the duration of this 10 second BKB. CML still chasing. They find themselves one. It's on the tree, and Zephyr is going to fall afterwards. Well done. Two dead. A DD pop from Carl. They're trying to get. I don't know about that. This is looking really deadly. They got to get the heck out of there. Yeah, and and yeah. Geekfam are why is he going to back out? Not too much of a risk against Paula. Zephyr, scouted, missing the hook shot, but they find him afterwards. The big old jump there. Now that's Sumi. Does he get the second one? Trying to go in for the last one, but the slowdown afterwards from the open wounds. They have the roar onto the ember, but they tossed maybe away. They toss him out. Max is going to live. They get the sun afterwards. Disrupt is down to it's a pretty good damage, but they have their BKBs already out and the rage available as well. They are tearing them apart one by one by one. Raven will escape, but everyone else will die and into the pit they roll a droid a bdcp around a gyro because like you said right he's even though he doesn't have a lot of damage but he's the only right to punish yeah. in, toss yet again jump in blow up cuckoo why not while the hook shot on top of the lasso raven in the midst of all of it he's the one that's been initiated on now can they kill him off it's bkb is there overgrowth afterwards but raven just has to run away and I mean, they're slowing down the game a little bit. It's not enough. They're losing hero after hero. Yeah. He's someone that we don't really talk about a lot. I mean, we always mention it, but especially for me, I always talk about the supports, the off laner, which is being less so right now. Yeah. He's still got his DD wearing out though in a second. Bach gets his blade mail off, does some damage, not enough. They kill off one. Can they bring down Mac? Avalanche toss. Natsumi jumps in. Immediately Manta off the root on the life stealer. Chasey forward, finding the bash, because yeah, he's got a bash on top of everything else. Swaps back in. Carl needs another couple punches, but he gets the blink away. And now Red left all alone and to his own devices. Is able to get off the BKB Satan because he's actually life stealing a lot. But this is against a life stealer. Does he find the bash? No bashes no, in all of that. Nobody makes mistakes, yeah? Oh, they make mistakes. But the mistake had to be capitalized on. <laughs> <laughs> the positivity that we're looking for. Ooh, Batrider got a BKB now. Boomy. God, everybody's running so fast. 500 movement speed. And Zephyr. Okay, they started off a big jump. Ember in some trouble. Do they have enough to bring him down, though? It doesn't quite look like it. He's trying to walk away from there. Cheese is going to be popped. Disarm, though, onto Aghanims. Doesn't really work that way. A lot of damage onto the rest of Adroit Raven. Trying to bring them down, beat them down. He's still turning. Look at the damage out from this gyrocopter. That's a rapier, but no more satanic left. Trying to kite him, trying to kill him, trying to do it all. Raven's doing it all. He kills another triple kill. Is it going to be enough to chase down that Sumi? It doesn't look like they want to tempt fate. Raven is going to back out to the side, but that is Rapier Gaming. And he wants another Aghanims. He is dying to take the count of the air. Oh my god. These guys are insane. <laughs> he's, he's a this saw, did he? <laughs> this is so crazy. Cook is the one that breaks the smoke first. Carl trying to get up to the high ground. Avalanche top. Tatsumi is there. Yule Scepter keeping him alive and well. TD Gyrocopter is still very much a problem. CML going to be pulled back in to get the Crypt Guard off this time. Look at the damage. The Fedex from his down silence afterwards. Still doing damage with that Agonim Scepter to bring it down. Now he's dead. That's Aegis number one. Mac now trying to back away. Trying to run out, the Aghanims keeps him alive, and it was two buybacks from both teams. What's that? It's isn't it five? Am I wrong? That's five, five charges. Ten, ten remnants. <laughs> oh, I'm ten. Let's pull, pull me back in. Missile's gonna get sent back to Raven afterwards. They have the lasso, swapped out afterwards. Control, Bach is on top of him with the blade mail. He's doing some good damage. They have to save on to the moment though, because he's still got the, well, satanic afterwards. That's me trying to kill all of the rest of them. Mac chases forward on a cuckoo. They're still doing a lot of damage here, and the Jaguar really isn't helping over the duel that much. Now the turn though, Raven finds him, and with that static storm down as well, they get that Sumi. The triple kill for Raven. Take it down, boom, ultra after words and run into the mid lane geek fan waited perfectly
Yeah, you can sell the millstone. Get the AC. Eminence in. Takes it down. Creep wave is gone. Toss back into the tier four towers. That's pretty good, but he's so much stats resistance. He's got his BKB popped. If they can burst, it might work. But Bach, he's gonna miss his hook shot, and Boomy now gonna go down as well. There's the abyssal blade, and the chase is done. The game is also, I believe, done. As Tiny is dead for two minutes, Geek Fam are on the base, and they're just gonna hit the tier four towers. With all of these heroes out of the map, it is too difficult to hold on. They're gonna jump in there again. Life Steal and that's still me, but Raven says no. Zephyr might go down, but afterwards, all the rest of Adroit are in a ton of trouble. Beat down dead, dies back immediately, but it's only the one life left, and Mac also is going to end up falling. He's also got a buyback. They're trying to hold on. In five seconds, they got the Venge but it is Geek Fam that are all on top. They turn another Abyssal Blade. Disarm is there, trying to beat him down dead, and life split after first. Well, he does manage to get the stun off. Got to swap afterwards, little things here and there, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough. The Ancient is exposed, and they are all gone. GG called, we're going the distance winner. A full three game series in this elimination match. What more could you want? indeed winner we've all come down to this it's elimination match time it is down to one final game geek fam adroit all going in on him right now and they're Just gonna kill him back. dude what a freaking play mac gotta run away but the glimpse level one taken Kolg's pushback onto two mac fairy fires tries to walk away a salve used even and carl trying to get the kill but won't quite get it you can see though wreck Recognizing that Mac just retreats back to the jungle and that rotation doesn't end up bearing fruit. They're instead going to look over to Boomy, who will be glimpsed back in. Avalanche toss on to both of them. Ock moves into position with the Cogs pushback. Boomy is going to go down. That's first blood drawn by Raven. If LC goes for a pipe, Nature's Proper goes for whatever carry build he's going. The game could be very fast paced. Back behind it in the lines. They TP in with the tree and the remnants coming through onto both of them. Mac is down low. Can he live? One raise, but dead. Down both and CML likely to go down afterwards as well. They brought a couple, but Geek Fam brought more. In. Makes them have that ability to just catch so much deep. Oh, the limbs means the tower is going to go down. That's uh, that a huge play. Jeez. So they will end up fine. And again, well, Carl, he's gonna be forced to. Power this. going, your tier one mid is going down at eight minutes. Yeah, it ain't good. What is his build? What is he gonna do this game? How can he itemize to speed up again? No map, do that damage, real form of Desolator. Desolator sounds good to speed up again. Yeah. Oh wait, toss again, they catch him. Mac will get one kill there, but now with Carl moving into position, Carl's gotta be careful. He can't afford to lose his life, but he won't. He'll get a double kill. That's right. So Cuckoo is holding the bot lane. Ravage, race, race. Well, he ain't holding it that long. They're gonna... Right. Leave the rest of the right click damage up to Natsumi. Speaking of which, he's going to be heading up this high ground, scouted out. They blow up CML right at the start, but still have the illusion. There's going to be the glimpse. Now the chase down. White Mon gets punched, gets pummeled, gets killed. Trade off one apiece. And, and as they wrap around the side here, they are going to see the Observer Ward. Cuckoo takes that one out, still walking in. Boomy spots out Zephyr, hook shot, got him caught. And the toss didn't toss him out. Blade Mill comes out a little bit late, but Box still chasing. As Cuckoo in his sights, uh -oh. Carl's nearby as well. They're gonna cool. glimpse him, pull him back in. Swap, available, CML pulls him out of position. They taunt him back in afterwards as well. He doesn't get the Ravage off. And they immediately have to get out. Uh, that was a very, very costly mistake there. Wait a minute. Jumping in. Are they gonna go for more? You cannot jump in when like this and not commit your Ravage Ooh, when you're against glimpse. Disruptor and LC. Oh the glimpse they find boomy much need but wait on the back lines they find the kill on carl again that got him what oh my god and raven trying to turn it but there's no way to break the tp raven's gonna do a lot of damage the pr hasn't 
reached his timing yet. He needs to finish the, the heart before he's uh, ready, ready to engage them. He's pretty stacked up with gold. They swap out again, keeping Boomy fine and dandy. Zephyr chase down. Ravage connects onto both of them. Now the hook shot afterwards from Boomy. Zephyr is going to fall, but, well, Cuckoo is able to walk away from there. They get the taunt now, going back onto that Tidehunter. Static Storm down afterwards, and they still have Glimpse available. Pulls back in onto one with the BKB reaction. Requiem round two. Carl able to live through that one. And now Raven turning on a Mac trying to kill him off, and they will be able to. That was exactly Exactly what Geek Fam needed. And just with the yes, with the LC behind to dispel, press the attack, cast Medallion on him, Crimson God. What a movie that one was. A great what? Movie. That's a movie? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't meant. Oh, jumping Ravage! Trying to bring him down pretty low and they're gonna do it. Cuckoo is gone, Raven. Now trying to stand and deliver, seeing if he can make it happen, but the swap is there and CML is gonna drop, but all the rest of them crowd around. Raven down low and Raven dead. Now Carl, seeing if he can play a little bit of cleanup here with the Battle Fury. Atsumi chasing, trying to bring down Zephyr. Instead, they're focusing on everybody else instead of him. As the right clicks are coming through, the Yule Scepter lift up onto Zephyr, a Cog's pushback, and then the raise. Easy as pie, and Coral out of mana, up on the top side. He's in trouble, he's dead. Now can they kill him a second time? He is there for Cogs in the second. Battery sold instead is gonna get popped. He has BKB and now Boomy in trouble. Mac in trouble. Carl's pissed and wants to find a couple heroes to kill. And well, it looks like he's gonna be able to do it. You will scepter, but no blink out. Double kill from Carl. Now they instead decide to turn over and kill White Mon. Legion is back up again. Legion has duel available. They're trying to turn, trying to find this. Can they do it in time? They get the duel on the tide. Maybe Pio can clean up here. They're both low on mana. If he wants to leave this fight, I think he has a way to do it. I'll have to wait and see. Wait. Okay. And he's leaving. And they're running away. But yeah. just by virtue of the mobility that you have on Geek Fam and the fact that you kind of have to stay together if you're a droid, uh, they're getting a little bit more out of the map right now. But it's five man smoke, they have Ravage back up again. And the person they're running into, it looks like, is Cuckoo and Raven. Up on the high ground, Natsumi finds him right at the start. BKB out. Now in some trouble. He's going to doppelganger back for the moment. Cuckoo going to go on to one. They find the real Natsumi, but there's the Yule Scepter and the BKB and the jump. It comes out all on a Cuckoo. He's done. Carl, shot. BKB running low, and they found him on the hook shot. The catch back on the other side. Static Storm is pretty good, but they swap out one. Natsumi's still living. Ravage turns, able to find Raven, kill him as well. No buyback for either of those heroes. Carl trying to run and get out of dodge. He does not want to stick around too much longer, or he does because he's literally insane. They're moving into the pit. Raven beating away at it. They jump forward, Max. They call Cuckoo yet again. Requiem comes out with the BKB. Cuckoo is in time. Or no, it was just a Minotaur horn. He kept him alive there. And now the turnaround, they find and kill Bach. No Ravage, they gotta run. Oh my god, that Minotaur horn pick up by the Legion commanders, saving a life. Unreal. Does he want to get anything else? They do have the glyph for the moment. Carl still standing very far forward. I gotta say, this makes me really uncomfortable. Yes, it is. There's a rapier there. Well, that's true, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. They jump in. They kill Boomy yet again. Repair kit is working, but they're trying desperately to hold on the buildings. The problem is there's far too much damage. Look at how quickly these buildings fall. They need to make a play without Boomy. They can't afford to wait for him. 50 seconds, Bach. He's not got Ravage available. They don't have Refresher either. I don't think they got enough left in the tank. The game is too hard now, and Carl is too strong. That is two sets of racks. 18,000 gold lead, double catapults. They're in ready, and they are looking to keep this going now. Pressure out, Carl doing a lot. Abyssal Blade onto him, jump forward, Ravage, but that's still just gonna be the Aegis. He's hexed, he's dead. Mac does have Requiem afterwards if they want to use it, but they're not. They're backing out. Zephyr trying to get out of their box. CML dead instantly. The Venge Illusion is already gone as well. They buy back on Bach, trying to hold on to their base, if at all possible. They still need to wait, though. They have Hex back up in three seconds for Mac, as well as his BKB available, but they're breaking the BKB with that ulti, and they toss him in. Mac can afford to pop the BKB, but the duel 
Cuckoo caught him, got him out of control, and they're gonna find the kill. That is Mega Creeps. A buyback comes. It feels so bad right now for a droid who are gonna lose Natsumi. He also is gonna be forced to buy back, and they need a comeback and a half. They will push back Raven now. Disarmed, trying to bring him down. Hex as well. All right, they got the offensive wave and the cheese and the turn around and triple kill from Raven. Don't test me, son. I'm coming for you. They steal the rampage, but they win the game. Geek fam, taking them down and moving on in this tournament.